message me next time. Right now, follow me at Oracle TX. We got a match: Sparking Zero versus Calm Animal. Uh, okay, so yes, yeah, so we got Bowser versus like Battle of the Battle of the Fatties. I imagine this is okay for Bowser until uh, Ike uses the Z button. Um, you know, you yeah, I guess so. Although that's just something like a lot of Bowsers are over reliant on up out of shield. Yeah, like he has good neutral options. He has a lot of range and a lot of quick moves like forward air, forward tilt. Yeah, even just like see, look at those jabs. That yeah, jab was almost that wasn't even spaced correctly. It was almost his uh, jabs out of and range. his down tilts seem pretty safe. A lot yeah, of so he, he has really good pokes and he has that crazy grab. So he has a strong neutral game outside of a be out of shield. I know a lot of people assume that he loses to grab, which isn't really true. Yeah, I just know. Yeah, a lot of Bowser are relying on it. I know Kamino really likes to use it. Yeah, and but see, he'll just do the raw up B right there and challenge. But especially you. since like Ike has a really good burst movement option. And yeah. Grab. Mm -hmm. All right, nice forward air. Forward throw to forward air. Although it was a nice forward air as well. Forward air to forward throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I would think that Bowser would be super good versus Ike off stage, but he needs to grab the ledge first. And yeah. Sparking Zero just is, isn't even giving him an that opportunity. That is not something not nearly enough players do. Just grab the ledge. <sighs> yeah. Hey, okay, good up, Pete. Oh, nice! That pivot Nair out of the side B. Yeah, that was pretty... Pretty sick. Come in, we'll get the textures. Nice get up attack. Wow, just trying to stay out of range, but Spark and Zero is taking that space and making use of it. Good nice throw. grab. We're going to get some follow ups. Ooh, back Good air, back no air. jump. Oh, wow. Oh, if he would have gotten the grab off of that, that would have been sick. Yeah. Ooh, forward air, that's going to be it. That is. Yeah, that Cal is the, the Manimal takes that. Oh, my God. Yeah, follow me at Oracle TX. Uh, nice neutral, like getting him off the platform. Grabs him. And when I. Friendster. When Ike grabs you, it's effectively a 50-50 as to which way he's going to throw you. Because even though it doesn't look like they'd be follow-up throws, but his side B can give him the follow-ups off of most, uh, off of a lot of DIs. Between forward throw and up throw. Uh, back throw. Back throw? Okay. Up throw will give you a lot of guaranteed follow-ups, uh, but only at like lower percents. Like once he gets okay. to a little bit of a higher percent, you're going to have to start going for the mix-up. So why don't you use down throw then? Down throw? Uh, you can just... It's kind of like... Uh, Zelda's down throw, where it like sends you behind, but you can always DI down and away and just never get followed up on. Okay. It's t and it's too slow to be used as a mix up. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so, so Tom Animal has a bit of a lead, but a combo and edge guard from Sparking Zero can just close that out. I feel you know? like um, Ike's pretty good at keeping Bowser in the air. Yeah, Ike's juggles are really strong. Especially if you can bait out the Nair, which Tom Animal is getting going for a lot when he's getting, getting juggled. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I got distracted by the chat. <laughs> yeah, these... Yeah, these guys... Don't get distracted by the people watching the stream. Get distracted by the other people watching the stream. Yeah. All right, he's going to give Tom Animal the ledge. We've got stage control. Oh, goes for a risky... Ooh, Ooh. paid for it. Unfortunate SD there. He probably yeah. could up it. I think he was like trying to tech, but he accidentally meteor canceled. Probably. He Ooh. Could have made it back though. Beautiful back air. This is a really close cool game though. Could go either way. Yep. I'm really liking those side Bs and pivot nairs though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tries to challenge him with that side B attack. He gets oh, fire breath. Ooh, the grab. There's that mix up. Ooh, nice tech chase. Ooh, oh, doesn't get the meteor cancel. And Sparking Zero cleans up the Zero to death. And Calm Animal smiling like always. Yep. <sighs> All right. So, Sparking Zero is going to ban Fountain of Dreams. Okay. Tri platforms are uh, really, really good for Bowser. You think he'll ban Battlefield? Um, I would either ban Battlefield or WarioWare. No, yeah. see, he's going to ban WarioWare. I'm Battlefield's tri platform gives Bowser an advantage, but Wario. I think I would have probably left WarioWare up because the walls can make him recover better. Yeah. And the platform layouts are a little awkward for Bowser. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like a lot of the time, some characters can just jump between the yeah. top platforms and camp. Yep. Ooh, nice little follow up. Oh, goes for the oh, brawl edge the guards. The hardest of brawl edge guards. How hard? Very hard. <laughs> you don't taunt in the middle of the F smash. That's not how it works, Typo. Typo's an idiot. No, if you charge it up, if you charge up F smash to the maximum, he says prepare yourself before he unleashes it. It's not a taunt. 
Oh! Oh, I wanted to see two techs. Almost. Yeah. But he was in a situation where he was going to keep getting hit. Great spacing on that forward air. Uh, Sparking Zero was really not ready for that. Falls with the neutral air. I always get spooked that tourney winners are actually good in this game. Yeah. They are. Yeah, they're very good. And you know what's not good? What? Jumping off the ledge inside me with Ike, not into a wall. That's bad. See, he thought he was on WarioWare. Yeah. In his head, he left WarioWare up, and that's where they are. <laughs> that's where they are right now. Yep. There's no, there's not a top platform in the middle. No, that's a that's that's just a, an illusion. Ooh, Sparking Zero approaches with counter. Uh, as many will tell you, not the best approach option. Yeah, I don't think Ooh, sick pivot grab, you though. can get really anything off of that. Yeah. Ooh, forward, oh, forward air. air. All right, he's going to get on the ledge. Nice that edge guard. That is it. Yep, that's the stock. And we got a bound even game. Commandable yeah. has 57% on him. Unfortunate SD earlier, but yep. Sparking Zero is keeping it close. Ooh, nice neutral air challenging Bowser's I like, neutral air. I like the attempt to shield drop, drop shield, drop through the platform. Yeah. Advanced tech from Bowser. My favorite advanced tech is uh, attempting to shield drop and then spot dodging instead. No, oh, I'm, I'm really good at that one. I'm really good at that one too. Ooh, nice back air. Ooh, Sparking Zero just staying right out of range. Nice meteor cancel. Get up attack. Shield grabs him. Forward air, not quite gonna do it. But Sparking Zero might get this edge guard. Ooh, that was, that was a good angle. Ooh, baits out that dash tech. Beautiful forward into a forward air. Yeah, Sparking Zero was down for a little bit, but. I feel like he's DIing in too much when he's getting thrown off stage by Ike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. He's definitely a little bit. Uh, He's a little bit fearful of the throws. Ca yeah. uh, players will do that a lot when they're, you yeah, know, when know they're that's... afraid because they don't want to go low. Yeah, that's a thing a lot with like against Ooh. Marth, people will di forward throw in. Yep. When they're near the ledge. Yeah, when they're spooked. Even yeah. though it's even though it's obviously not correct, it's just scary to di down in the way when you're yeah. on the ledge. Ooh, nice little combo. Already got 86 percent. But Bowser could probably. Oh, oh no. So unfortunate from Cal the Manimal, but he always has a smile on his face. Follow me at Oracle TX. Add me on Friendster. Nope, shut up. No. Please. 